girlfriend in the lobby, show me something, keep it soft and turn nobody in your city, smoke exotics. Hey, spin it slow. Yeah. Hey, Rosettes, this is Yummy Rose, and welcome back to my channel. So, this video is about to be lit. So, I came up with the idea to do. Well, y'all can already tell by the title, this is how to catfish on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Just because, like, every time I do transformation videos, they always say, like, oh, that's catfish, that's sorcery, that's witchcraft. So, I thought, why not play on the hate comments and make a bomb video? So, as you can see, my hair is a mess. I know y'all, like, people that's coming from my Instagram, like, girl. <laughs> How, how are you getting this to this? Like, how? So that's what I'm gonna do today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply my wig because we can't go out looking like this, child. So I'm just gonna take a wig a cap and put it on, leave some space to put some gel on and we're gonna get started. Alrighty, so now that you got your wig on, I'm gonna go in with the got to be glued gel. Oh, is it? There we go. I'm gonna go in with the got to be glued gel. So I'm just adding some on. Then I'm gonna blow dry it a little to get it tacky. And my secret step is to get your like glue I mean, to get your gel to stick really good, I use this Salon Extra Hole um, Humidity Spray, and I just spray a little bit. I just go across one time and then blow dry it again. And now we're just gonna stick it down. Shining, 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 yeah. All of this one in We're gonna put this part behind our ear. Okay, and I'm gonna take a little bit of my Tresemme Tres Gel in number five, and we're just gonna use a little bit of this on an old toothbrush to just pull out a little bit of edges, just to make our wig look a little bit, a little more realistic. And I know some people say, that's the first giveaway. Like, it's really not. If you don't have, <laughs> if you don't have baby hairs on your wig, like it's gonna look wiggish across the hairline. Nine times out of 10, it would. So to me, that's a dead giveaway if you don't have any edges. And I'm just taking my um, curling iron that looks like this. And I'm gonna curl away from my face. All right, so now that we have our hair done, we're gonna go ahead and start off on the brows. For brows today, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow in Chocolate, which looks like that. And I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and pop these brows on. All right, so I'm gonna clean up my brows and I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I know somebody gonna come in about my nails and if, um, you want to pay for me a fill-in and um, two repairs, so let me know, girl. But I'm going to go ahead and clean up my brows with this concealer. Alrighty, so now that we got our brows on, I'm going to go ahead and start off on the face. For primer, I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. As you dolls know, this has been my favorite primer lately i don't know what it is my face has been like super dry lately so this freaking primer is like like especially like on my forehead my face has been dry 
So, you know. This primer is the bomb.com. All right, so now we're gonna color correct and I'm using this Anastasia Cream Contour and I'm gonna go in with this orange right here. And lately I've just been using my finger because I like when the product is like very, very warm. So that is what we're doing today. Alrighty, so for foundation today, I'm going to go in with these two Anastasia stick foundations and they look like this. Uh oh. And the two colors I'm going to go in with today is Cool Golden and Chestnut. So what I do is take Cool Golden in the center. This Cool Golden is literally like the perfect shade. But I like to add the Chestnut on the perimeter of my face just to add a little bit of definition and because i don't like to put on foundation and be like super flat so i'm just going to take some of this chestnut and put it on the perimeter of my face and i'm going to go in with my elf powder brush to blend everything out so what i do is blend out the center first and then i blend out the perimeter so I'm just gonna take it in like little dabbing motions. And then I just start working my way out over the chestnut. So once that's on pretty good, I just go over it with my beauty blender just to make sure everything is well blended out. Okay, so now that we got that on, we're gonna go ahead and highlight and I'm gonna go back in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And we're gonna blend that out with a beauty blender. So now I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and use this to set our concealer. And all I do is just press the powder into this concealer. There's no need to bake with this concealer because it's super thick and creamy and it kind of sets on its own so all you need is a little bit of powder and you want to just press it into that concealer and then I'm gonna just take a little bit and put it under my eyes to catch any of the fallout that we do with our eyeshadow alrighty so now we're gonna start off on our eyes and to prime our eyes I'm gonna go in with my painterly paint pot from MAC which looks like this and I'm only gonna use a, a little bit on my finger. Cause you don't need a lot of this product. I just want a nice even base. And then I'm gonna set that with some translucent powder so it helps out with our blending. Okay, so the first shadow we're gonna go in with today is one of my all time favorite transition colors and it is a max saddle and it looks like this and we're going to use this as a transition color to set. The next shade I'm going to go in with in our crease is this shade right here and this is the shade red brick from MAC. For our brow bone color, I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is the color of rice paper from MAC. And we're just going to pop this under our brow bone. The next color I'm going to take for our outer B is this color from MAC. And it is called Brown Script. And now I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and kinda of just blend out the edges and blend all these colors together. So now I'm gonna do a half cut crease and I'm gonna use my concealer to do so. For our lid shade, I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow from MAC and it is called Gold Mine.
And then what all the Instagram girls do, you want to pop a little glitter. So I'm going to take in this um, Crystal Gun Metal NYX Aligner Glitter. And I'm going to place this in our crease. All right, so now that we finished the eyes, we're gonna go ahead and finish off the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my highlighted areas and blend out my face and set it with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45. And I'm just going to book the powder in. Just like that, to contour, I'm gonna use my NYX Matte Bronzer in the color Deep Tan, and it looks like this. So I'm gonna take this and use it to contour our face and add a little bit more color. All right, for blush today, I'm going in with the MAC Blush in Peachy King, which is so freaking pretty. I haven't used this blush in a long time and I used it in my last video and I freaking missed it. So, just gonna add some of this blush on. Well, I guess a lot of this blush on. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all, so before I add my highlight, I'm gonna spray my face with this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I've been loving this lately. It is so hydrating and it just gives you like an illumination to your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that on before I add my highlighter. Y'all, I love this because it's like literally the finest mist like facial spray that I've ever tried and it makes your makeup look gorgeous. So for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter from Becca Cosmetics. And now I'm not going to go too crazy with the highlighter today just because our eyes are already doing the most. What am I telling? It's an Instagram look. Ha! <laughs> Keep adding it, honey. <laughs> glow from within oh you want to be blinding how are you gonna do an instagram look and not add pounds of highlighter on yes yes bitches y'all this y'all i really forgot how lit this highlighter is so for lipstick today, I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop lip lipstick in Chili Chill. And we're gonna add like a little faux lip ring with the glitter liner, only because I'm just really getting like Coachella vibes from this look. So I might as well, you know, might as well take it there. All right, so once it dried, you wanna take your glitter liner and just go in the center of your lip. So this is the finished look and this is how I catfish motherfuckers on Instagram. <laughs> but no, I hope you all enjoyed this look. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this transformation. Also, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification so you never miss an upload. Also, if you are missing uploads, just unsubscribe, resubscribe, and then re- Turn your notifications on. I know some people have made had problems with getting notifications of my videos. Just make sure that you turn everything off and then try to turn it back on. And that should help out your problem. Do not forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. All at Yanni Rose. And yeah. I love you dolls. And I will see you in my next one. 